let's talk about uh, Fantastic Beasts 3. So uh, The Wizarding World okay. has a new movie out, and it's the third iteration of this Fantastic Beasts series. Uh, have you, I don't think you guys, did you, any of you see it? No. Um, no? Okay. Have That's you seen any of them? <laughs> no. Have you seen any of them? No. No. I saw the OGs. Yeah, uh, Harry, Harry Potter Potters. movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say my friend Bailey uh like went saw it and she was like, Oh my gosh, it's the greatest thing ever. And this and that. And then I looked up <laughs> reviews, uh, and it wasn't it wasn't all that. I, I yeah. saw mm -hmm. some really bad reviews. I think she she gets she gets excited. Um, but Dan, I mean, what what do you think about it? You're really the only one that watched it, so let's Yeah. Does Dumbledore have some secrets? Yeah, no, the Dumbledore definitely has some secrets. In fact, this whole movie is literally, it, to, to that end, I think it was aptly titled because the movie is all about the secrets of Dumbledore. It's more than just his secrets, I suppose, because there's other people who have been holding those same things secret. But but the ironic thing is they're not like secrets to the audience because- Can you spoil like them? Movies... Because I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Are we talking about the gay relationship? Well, because... not just- well. Doesn't that get part called out like That's sooner? Part of it. Let me, I'll give you guys like a very quick uh, review okay. of what I thought and then we can kind of discuss it. And then I think we should probably spend it's a lot good. more of our time um, talking about the state of the franchise because this yeah. movie is not doing well at the box office and I don't know how it bo if it bodes well for the future of, of this series of movies at least. But, okay, so here's the story of me watching this movie, right? So, Early in the week, my brother and sister kind of reached out to me saying, hey, actually it was my sister. She was like, I'm coming into town. You guys want to go see this movie? And um, I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Why not? I got a little bit of time on Saturday night and I, and I did. So we went to see it and we went to see it in an AMC uh, that's uh, basically 15 minutes away from where I live. And it's like right. the one where they have Dolby Prime. They also have IMAX. But we had to go to a screening that was on standard, digital standard format. And you know how AMC and a lot of theaters um, run their projectors on like a lower brightness setting? Because I they want to like say, they, they want the, the, the bulbs to last longer because if you run it at full brightness, like it will obviously, you know, not run for as long but the, the problem with that becomes you lose a lot of color fidelity a lot of like detail in the image and and the movie this movie in particular like half of it takes place at night so there's a lot of dark scenes uh. so it doesn't help that the projector is like not like at full brightness side note i'm really tired of dark movies <laughs> i'm really t like yeah the Zack snyder stuff the the even the new batman i'm just like let's can we let some light in can i see something but i digress go ahead yeah but that's just like that was my those were all of my gripes just going into the movie and in the first few minutes and then yeah. things got interesting so um <laughs> the like 15 minutes into the movie i want to say um everything goes dark and then like five seconds later things like the house lights come on so I don't know if it was a power surge or a brownout or they had like a minor power outage and then the generators oh, or whatever you mean back power back came on. actual light. For yeah, a second, like the... I thought you were talking about the mood of the film goes dark. No, 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 no. Or like, oh, okay. The, okay. the light, like the electricity in the theaters by now. I don't exact. I don't All know right. exactly what happened. It was like literally for a few seconds. Like it was like, you know, if, if you have, a ha if you fell asleep watching the movie and you woke up and you were like, wait, did the movie end? Because that's what it felt like. And and then we just sat there for for like. By the way, the theater was half empty, it's, so it's mm. it's you know not a lot of people going to see this movie. We, but then I was like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Because then the audio started playing, but the they hadn't turned the projector on, and so we were like listening to the movie for a good ten minutes, and then they stopped that, and then they started playing the projector, and then it was like the movie was at a point where it was out of order, and then then they stopped it again, and then what? you know a few minutes later. They finally seemed to figure it out, and they started playing the movie. Get it together, AMC. Right? And they started put playing the movie again. However... From the beginning? The house lights... Well, not from the start. They they got it to the point where we had left off and the lights went, went out. <laughs> but they left the house lights on for oh, like a man. good 30, 40 minutes. So well, it was I a dark spent, movie. Huh? It was a dark movie. 
Yeah, I spent like half the movie watching it with the house lights on. I was like, what the awful. hell is going that on? That really takes here? you out of it. It it was so that took away from the experience. And the movie wasn't like exact it's not the greatest thing since sliced bread. So you know, there's a lot of basically sliced. I feel like the purpose of these Fantastic Beast movies, like the reason why they exist. The first one they were like, Oh, these fun characters that are based on a book that the Harry Potter characters read. But since then it's just been about Dumbledore. I'm like why are you calling it Fantastic because, Beasts? Because that was the only person from the original series. So they had to focus on one character in particular that yeah. was familiar. Because everyone wants to know the backstory of Dumbledore, which is arguably one of like the most important characters in the Harry Potter series. And it's, it's crazy that you, they've tried to, they've clearly tried to do you know, a complete separate story in the first one from what I've heard. And then now it's just about Dumbledore because they know that's how they can get the Harry Potter audience back to well, get so that inside look, which that's That's really the work, issue though. here, right? That's the issue mm -hmm. is that they are losing the Harry Potter audience. And that right. seems yeah. to be the big issue with this whole, with this whole franchise. It's like they've invented the new word wizarding and there's a wizarding world and wizarding we're trying to world. we're trying to get out of this one story that was really compelling and really captured the imaginations of a generation and you know made a ton of money but yeah harry potter that story's ended and they did a great job with it and people cared about it for a really long time this feels like a cash grab to everybody and, mm. you know, we're seeing the numbers dwindle every time. And I think the most telling thing is that this movie was beaten at the box office by Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That's sad. It actually, the one stat that I came across was that on Friday, it, it pulled in the least amount of money that any movie from the Visiting World franchise, or as I like to call it, the Harry Potter franchise. Ever I think that's how in. people know it exactly like wizarding world like maybe they mentioned it in a passing it in one of those movies and and then they were like oh mark somebody in marketing decided that that was going to be the name of this franchise well that's mm. that's the thing is because they they won't call it the yeah. harry potter franchise because he's not in it they won't call it you know from the mind of jk rowling because she's controversial yeah. now it's just we yeah. have this ip and we don't know what to call it uh wizarding and they hope yeah. we take it and a lot of people aren't yeah. Mm. I mean, look, on its own, if you if you put everything aside and you just watch this movie in a vacuum without any of its affiliations and the franchise and whatnot, it's a good movie. I mean, it's much better than the last one, but the last one was so bad, you can only go up from there. So it's an improvement. Yeah. It's well put together in that sense. However, I just don't feel invested in the characters. I just don't care so much. And you could tell that the, the mytho like, you know, like I had, those Harry Potter movies had 600 page long books behind them. Whereas yeah. this one, these movies just don't have that level of like back that the, the material to work off of. Even though J.K. Rowling is writing the stuff, I, I don't know if she's writing the scripts, but she's definitely writing the stories that they're basing these movies on. And, but there's just not enough Andrew, there, you know. And as Andrew already mentioned, you know, controversy with uh, J.K. Rowling as well as Johnny Depp, like that didn't help. There's, yeah. uh, there was like the article I shared with you guys earlier this week that it seems like this franchise is built on. Um, publicity scandals essentially so they're yeah. not having the greatest time with that too well, um so yeah. do, do you think that we still need wizarding do you think that like absolutely not <laughs> we had it we've had it for nine films yeah is it no well hold on uh and they're they were... still epic and that's the thing they ate they're they timeless eight. those films are timeless yeah. you can yeah. still go back to the you can build so much Believe me or not, like the um, the train station in London, every day there is a queue of people wanting to take a picture up <laughs> against the bloody wall with yeah. a car trying to pass through. Every single day, everyone's like, how many um, tattoos of um, Deadly Hallows do you see, you know, on yeah. people? Like, you are going to have people for Harry Potter forever and ever. So why not yeah. try to do something with this franchise? Why um, not move anyway, it forward? Okay. Why are I'm, you trying to fill I'm gaps <laughs> and expand upon mini monologues that were in one of the Harry Potter books that they wanted to turn into a full movie and explain? It's kind of like the Star Wars prequel stuff. Like, I'm like, 
let's move the story forward or like what star trek has been doing lately too they've been doing a lot of like they're filling the holes in the stuff that they've already explored like other parts of like why not move the story forward and explore something new and i think that's maybe with this new warner brothers discovery leadership that's what they're gonna do they're gonna decide like hey you had your trilogy each one subsequent movie made less money and seemingly has less interest Maybe it's time to cut the cord and, and do something different, you know? Because I think there's interest. The fan base is going to be there. They just probably need to try something different. Like, maybe just focus on locations and other things or characters that are in the world beyond what the Harry Potter movies did rather than going back to the era of Dumbledore's prime, you know? Yeah, I'd yeah. like to see I'd like to see a movie that's all about Gringotts Bank. Let's, yeah. let's, get, let's talk about the trolls who, are, who have really learned about banking and managing the money of the wizarding world. I'd like trolls. to see that movie. They yeah. Were trolls. What were they? <laughs> goblins, a terrible person. Goblins. goblins? Sorry, My it's been a while. God. But I would like let's let's get a movie about them. Let's get a Dobby standalone movie. I think that would be fun. Um, I'd love a Dobby standalone movie. I think the world yeah. is ready for the Dobby movie. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's have a Dobby movie. Yeah. Well, guys, we obviously have our opinions on this franchise. This isn't like the the best thing since sliced bread. It's also a far cry from what the Harry Potter movies used to be. But we'd love to hear from you. Did you like this new Fantastic Beast movie? Do you feel like they have more story? They leave it in a pretty open ended, you know, at the end of this movie. So I'm sure they they can do more. But oh, really? are you liking what they're doing with this, or would you like to see them try something different, like a movie on Dobby, for example? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.